This kind of caption is usually reserved for a couple, isn't it? Plus, look at Lisa's hand placement. Upon careful consideration, all their captions toward each other seem to imply something significant. Hey guys, it's Joe Lisa as Real Daily. For more video updates, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Thank you. The recent developments in the public interactions of Jenny and Lisa, popularly known as Jen Lisa, have sparked curiosity and speculation about the true nature of their relationship. Their carefully chosen social media captions on each other's birthdays have piqued the interest of fans and observers alike, leading to a growing belief that they may be hinting at a deeper connection. It seems that Jenlis's relationship is being publicly revealed little by little, by Jenny and Lisa. It is worth noting that Lisa greeted Jenny on her birthday on January 16, 2024 on Instagram with a caption that said I love you and me. Then, on Lisa's birthday on March 27, 2024, Jenny greeted her with a caption that said J plus L. Upon careful consideration, all their captions toward each other seem to imply something significant. Considering the wide range of greetings Lisa could have used for Jenny, why did she choose the phrase I love you and me, which she took from the lyrics of Jenny's song? The song is about her secret lover, their private relation that only them knows about. Feel free to watch these analysis if you haven't watched it yet. On the other hand, Jenny, with countless ways to greet Lisa on her birthday, why did she choose to use the caption J plus L, which stands for Jenny plus Lisa? It was Lisa's birthday, not their friendship anniversary. Why would she insert J plus L, something that usually pertains to lovers, among all those options? These carefully selected phrases and symbols have led to questioning and analysis, as they appear to carry underlying messages. The evidence at hand suggests that there may be more to their relationship than what meets the eye. It is also worth noting that Jenny and Lisa each have their own company, which means, media plays are now close to impossible. However, if you notice, they both aim for the same goal and vision in their companies. Both Loud and OA are dedicated to pushing boundaries and breaking barriers in their respective fields. They share a commitment to innovation and creativity, seeking to create new and attention-grabbing content or experiences that stand out from the norm. Loud and OA, both aims and dedicates to showcase diverse, authentic narratives that challenge norms and promote understanding, acceptance. Both Jenny and Lisa's companies could strive to create new and attention-grabbing content that brings visibility to coming out stories and dates with people in a meaningful and impactful way. This aligns with their goal of pushing boundaries and attracting attention in a different way within the realm of personal storytelling and representation, through music and entertainment. Here's a clip where Jenny talks about breaking boundaries. Starting my career in Korea as a as K-pop artist has restricted so many sides of me where it wasn't just allowed to be shown because I'm a K-pop idol. And I was scared, I think, also to express myself. And as things grew over time, I was able to express myself and people would see it as breaking the boundaries rather than she's doing something that she's not allowed to do and being able mm -hmm. to open a new chapter for people that are starting the business in Korea. That's when I realized I want to do, I want to break more boundaries for people in my culture to understand that expressing yourself as however you want isn't there shouldn't be a standard mm -hmm. there shouldn't be a way to judge like there there shouldn't be a reason to judge and just see it as oh that's how that person expresses themselves so i think the song tally when i started performing the song oh like what do people think this is like not right you know yeah. <laughs> and then and then more fans were loving the song and i was connecting with with blinks like while i was on stage when i was singing that song they were like yeah do your thing and they were the ones who gave me my confidence and support to really enjoy the song yeah
Feel free to watch all my analysis videos I made about this so you can judge for yourself. I created an analysis playlist, so it'll be easier for you guys to find it. Jenny posting this kind of caption is definitely not a coincidence, and not some kind of delusional point. This kind of caption is usually reserved for a couple, isn't it? And then adding queen instead of a birthday crown. She doesn't need a man, she needs a queen. Plus, look at Lisa's hand placement. Like and subscribe for more videos.